Good morning, everybody. This morning we are at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Look at this right here. This is a Lincoln Continental Mark II is what this is. Look at that. And this is in the parking lot. I mean, in the parking lot, in the garage. I feel like I was rushing the intro because I'm so excited to show you this car. But I know you know that you're watching another episode of Wait, Have You Seen This? We are definitely at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Look at this. Look at that one over there. It is absolutely gorgeous. And here, we're going to cross over here real quick. This right here is Tesla's electric. It's an electric diesel. Well, of course, it's not a diesel because it's electric, but you know what I mean. 18 wheeler. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's an all electric. I've never seen one before. This is too cool. But we're going to go inside and see what we can see. So let's go. As soon as you walk through the door of the Peterson Automotive Museum, this is what you see. Look at this. That's a BMW. Oh my goodness. This place is actually really cool. We're gonna see a lot. We're gonna what I'm here for is the movie cars, but we're gonna check it out. Look at that far. Look at that. We're gonna go into the vault first. All right, let's go. So you can take an actual regular tour upstairs, or you can pay what 20, 25 more dollars and head to the vault. Now look at this. staff only but and that's not even the vault let's go it's missionary man I don't know if he has a name but who cares he's awesome so we had to get some rules before we went in and but we are here to see all of this. Oh my goodness. That's a Cadillac. Wow. 1904. Look at this. Can you imagine riding in one of these every day? I would love to. This is amazing. But we gotta go back over this side too. Look at these. Try not to talk too loud because it's echoing in here. A bit. Look at this. This is imagine. This is car history right here. Look at this. We can get actually close, just don't touch it. She wants to be about a foot away from him. Look at this. Oh, wait, let's go back over here. <laughs> Look at this. This car right here looks like the one from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. It's like a land boat. We don't really have a lot of information. She said there's a a um audio set we could get and have information on that but i opted not to do that look at this all right let's keep going we can't just video everything but look at this all right let's keep going look at this Absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, let's go back over here. Let's keep going. So the guy was just telling me right now that this car was owned by Steve McQueen. Big time Hollywood acting. Look at that, let's see on this side. That is amazing. And then there was one back up here. We're gonna go back over here and see it real quick. I videoed it a little bit. But he said that one was in the the TV series. I'm sorry, I'm still amazed by this car. But we're gonna go back over here. Look at this. But we're going back over here. Uh, the guy said that this car, this particular car here, was used in the 19, I think, 53 Superman series. He said it was only in there briefly, but it was in the show. That is amazing. That is a beautiful car. Uh, what kind of car is it? I'm not quite sure. I'm not really a car man. I just love love it that is a beautiful car i would love to own something like that that's a beautiful car all right let's keep going and as weird as this car looks he said this was used in a shoe company company's ad i don't know which one he just, i don't think he knew either but it looks weird as all get out but that's a car that is absolutely a car this is crazy all right let's keep going Look at this one. I've never seen one where the door slid out like this. That is an amazing design. I've never seen anything like that before. It's, it's funny that the cars now don't have a lot of innovation, but back then they were doing it. Look at this one. It looks like a shoe. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Gold DeLorean. That's one. This one right here is beautiful too. But look at that DeLorean. Oh, the smack. Right in there. Look at the cars they don't drive. Yeah. Look at that. It's a gold DeLorean. Uh, you gotta love a DeLorean. Check this out. It is the Bat Motorcycle. I want to say this is from the Christopher Nolan one. But look at that. Who would ever thought I would have been up close to this? But wait, there's more. Look at that. That's the actual Batmobile <laughs> from the this 1960s show. Look at that. Look at this. That is crazy. 1966. But look at this. We're not done yet. That's the Bat Motorcycle from the 1966 show. And it has the Bat Go Kart. The Robin Go Kart. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I'm sorry. If y'all hear the excitement in my voice, I absolutely love movies and stuff. So that is just amazing to me. Couple more. I want to say this is the car from one of my favorite movies, Rain Man. It looks like it. I'm not sure, so please don't don't be don't judge me. But it absolutely looks like that car. Look at that. And I'm not sure where this is from. I'm not sure what movie this is from, but it's here. It's crazy. I don't even know what this is. Alright, let's keep going. I'm 
I'm sure you all know what this one is. If I remember correctly. That's Austin Powers. This is the bus from Little Miss Sunshine. They don't have much information on this. <laughs> That's cool, the bus from Little Miss Sunshine. I'm not 100% sure what movie these are from at all, but we know what this is. That's Speed Racer. Who would have thought I'd have ever been this close to, I would ever be this close to a speed racing car. And not only that, we got Magnum PI. Alright, let's keep going. We got so much more to see today. I don't know what this is, but oh my goodness, look at this thing. Look at this. I don't know what movie this is from, but oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. This is the car from Thelma and Louise. <laughs> oh God. This is Thelma and Louise, dude. Are you kidding me? That's a beautiful car. But I don't know if you guys have noticed, but right next to it, we got Christine. I was so hoping to see this one today. This is one of the cars that was used in Christine. Look at that. Look at that. That's Christine. Holy crap. Holy crap. So there's so many cars in here that you have to keep walking, but the guy comes around again and he said that this car was owned by Elvis Presley. And he said that um, when he was in Palm Springs, Elvis had a fight with his girlfriend and tried to leave, and the car wouldn't start. So Elvis started shooting the car. And <laughs> he says that in, right here on the steering wheel, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see where the bullets ricocheted off the steering wheel, the windows was busted out, of course, and he said there's a hole in the floorboard and everything. <laughs> Then he also was telling me that this car here was the first vehicle to be designed for movies, like to carry a tripod and all that good stuff, or cameras on the back. So this was owned by R. How you say it? R. A. Co. Uh, R. K. O. Uh, Productions, uh, owned by um, Howard Hughes. He said also this car here was another Elvis car. It was, this was owned by Elvis. And I wanna say I remember seeing pictures of him in this particular car. But that's amazing. All right, let's keep going. Can't be an automotive museum without some motorcycles. I would absolutely love to have one of these. Even this one has pedals on it. This is crazy. An Indian. Oh, look at these. I love the old school bikes. What I also love is the fact that they just have them in here. They have a, some of them they have not restored or anything. They're just the way they come in. I love it. I just love these old bikes. Look at this. I would totally own one of those and ride it. This is Harley Davis right here. Look at that. It's a beautiful motorcycles. I love all the new things that we have now, but I believe the older stuff from back in the day is what really made made things look beautiful put it that way like look at this indian that is amazing there's no motorcycles in my opinion that look as beautiful as these do i would love to have that these are gorgeous too you know wrong. Oh. <laughs> little scooter up there all right let's keep going i can't video everything so let's keep going 
Look at this. It's one of the first cars this was built in 1886. Top speed was 10 miles an hour. 1886. This is what they were riding around in. Well, they wasn't riding around in. This was beginning to become something. That's crazy. You can go from 1886 to something that looks a lot like this. cars coming from then to here and this is just this is not even where we're at today this one was uh, made in 1939 wasn't much longer this wasn't much far away from 1886 this is 1939 come on that is amazing amazing all right let's keep going okay so I snuck on and decided to come on the side that I came here for. Look at this. This motorcycle is driven in Terminator Salvation 2018. Well, not 2018, 2000, uh, 2009. Look at that. I think it's a god awful. Can you imagine somebody riding that thing though? But, <coughs> do you see what I see? That's the DeLorean. This one was driven in 1985, Back to the Future 2, and Back to the Future 3, and Back to the Future, the first one. So, look at this. <laughs> this is the first time in my life that I've been this close to the DeLorean. This is the original DeLorean. Look at this. Look how close I am to this thing. This is crazy. Needless to say, this is what I come for. Look at that. That is crazy. That is the DeLorean. take a couple of pictures and we keep going this car was driven in the Black Panther movie Look at that. Black Panther night 2018 and who can go wrong with Starch and Hutch? Oh, sorry. This is the one from the actual TV show. Look at that. 1976 Ford Grand Torino. Starch and Hutch. The 1967 Ford Mustang that Nicolas Cage drove and gone in 60 seconds. It is a great car. Great, great car. This vehicle here was in the movie Ready Player One, which is one of my favorite movies right now. This was actually in the movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we about to see something real quick that is amazing. Now, we saw one Batmobile already, but this is my Batmobile here. Holy crap. 
this is the Batmobile that I remember. <coughs> shot at the booster in the back. There it is. Look at this. Look at the Batmobile, my friends. Can you imagine Michael Keaton getting out the top of that thing? That is crazy. Look how long it is. Sure, I don't have to tell you what that says. This is what's, what's, the mystery mobile, the mystery machine from Scooby Doo, the movie Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'm not that, uh, I'm not that impressed with this one because I was a fully grown man when that movie came out, but it was still cool. But this one right here, this one right here. It's crazy. Who doesn't know that that right there is Kit from Knight Rider. That is Kit all day long. Look at that. Right now, the front end is not doing what it would normally be doing, but that is Kit. This was actually in the TV show. This particular vehicle. Look at that. Oh, the window's open. Look. That's Kit, guys. That right there is Kit. Original. <laughs> beautiful car and uh, I do believe this is one that was owned by Steve McQueen nothing special to it it's just he owned it um, those that didn't know that Steve McQueen was a race car driver he, he loved to drive and race That's some of his accolades there too many people here so I'm not gonna video well let's get closer she moved I didn't want to be rude and video and over, video and over her shoulder but <clears throat> some of his accolades a couple of his trophies and all that good stuff it's really cool love it let's keep going all right so we're leaving the peterson automotive museum i don't know maybe you guys couldn't hear me that well uh i apologize for that but there were a lot of people in there and I was trying not to be too loud and be kind of obnoxious and being rude or anything like that. So, But if you look behind me, you can see it there. That building back there with the wavy design and it's red, that's the Peterson Automotive Museum. If you have never been to this museum, come to this museum. It was a lot of fun. I said museum a lot right now. And my lips are so dry right now. I need some chapstick so bad. But I've had such a great time. Here we are. We're over here around what they call LACMA. It's just like several museums in this area and whatnot, but I've had a good time. You can't see my face hat is on. There we go. I've had a good time today, a lot of fun. And uh, again, if you guys ever get an opportunity to come to the Peterson Automotive Museum, it is right. It's great. It's cost about 20 bucks to get in, uh, about 20 bucks to park, but you can park there and you can park there all day. So, hey. You can't beat that in my opinion so anyway guys come on and check it out uh thank you for joining me for an, another episode of wait have you seen this i have been jacoby like always i love you guys thank you so much for joining me and boom
with my hat back down in Los Angeles. I'm not really into baseball, but hey, why not? It's hot out here sometimes. The sun is really bright. But anyway, love you guys. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh yeah, hit, hit the subscribe button. Click it. Hit the like button. Hit whatever button. The little bell icon so you know when I'm putting another episode up. Guys, thank you. I like to just ramble. I'm gonna think, I think I'm going to stop saying this at the end of every video. But anyway, join us in the next one. Goodbye. So I know I said that was the end of the video, but my stomach was growling. So we decided today we're going to go to Philippe's. Is it Philippe's or Philippe's? I don't know. I'm going to call it Philippe's for the world famous French dip sandwich. Um, from the stories that I heard, that the guy was one of the, uh, there's a worker that was hungry on his lunch break and he came here to get a sandwich and he was in a rush, in a rush and the guy was making a sandwich and it fell over into the aju for the sandwich for the roast beef and he just told him go ahead give it to me and so he took it he thought it was delicious so he did it again he did it again and before you know it here you are with world famous french dip sandwich history I'm not going to do it all there we go let's get us a sandwich so this is what we got it's a turkey sandwich instead of a beef sandwich I've had that one before and pickled eggs and just a cheese sandwich. Throwback, like a mug. And a lemonade. But this is a lunch. I think I enjoy this. Alright. Let's go. So the sandwich is delicious. This is not so much. Didn't really taste pickled at all. It just tastes like really stiff hard boiled eggs. The sandwich is great though. And believe it or not, this cheese sandwich is amazing. This stuff here though is disgusting. It's like a harsh reddish aioli type of deal, but it is not good. The lemonade is great though. So, you guys, come out and check it out, dude. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. But, this is where we're going to end the video here. So I can finish my lunch and get out of here. You guys have a great one. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it.